G'day you cheeky pack of galahs and welcome back to Hitman 3. Now this video marks the beginning of a new series that I like to call Can You Beat Hitman 3 Freelancer Completely Unarmed and With No Loadout Whatsoever? And as for the rules, well they're fairly simple. Nothing is to leave the safe house whatsoever and items found in levels can only be used for the purpose of distraction and nothing more. And finally, all targets must be offed using nothing but your hands. So with that, let's dive on in and do the impossible. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, down in our safe house preparing for doomsday. What can I say? I've got a lot of money to blow. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I have no money. Awkward. And apparently I also have no gear at all except that pistol and the DLC that I foolishly paid eight Australian dollars for per pop. Anyway, let's head over here and see what we've got on the agenda. We got the bee, the hate monger, caretaker, tracker, ghost shark, grief, meister, and the tortoise. Now, I have a feeling I'm going to regret this, but the ghost the leader of an espionage syndicate seems kind of spicy. I mean, I can't kill anyone with a fiber wire or with poison, but I can try to maintain my disguise, not change my clothes, and not get spotted by anybody. Let's give it a crack. Now we have to choose between Dubai with two targets, Ambrose Island with two targets, or Mendozi with two targets. I think I'm going to crack on with Mendozi. Excuse me while I book my next flight. Now again, this is the zero loadout unarmed challenge, and as you can see, I have nothing but my camera, which I use occasionally to help me find my micro van. Just like that Mendoza, here I come. And there I go all the way to Argentina in my Mercedes Benz. Oh, you thought I was kidding? Look, <laughs> I'm standing right next to her, baby. They don't call them the German tanks for nothing. These things will get you anywhere you need to go in a jiffy. Anyway, fortunately, I have a fair bit of experience sneaking around Mendoza and getting to where I need to get to without getting spotted. So I'm going to put that knowledge to good use and sneak my way through the back door, <laughs> through the back door over here, jumping from cover to cover as I make my way downtown, walking fast, and faces pass as I'm homebound. Now we wait for old mate to plop down his durry, and we do a little hippity hop over the wall, and boom shakalaka, we are in. From this cover to that cover, and straight through the window, no, this weirdo on my left does not count. Got cash? I might have something to sell. <laughs> well, you're just weird, mate. Stop it. Anyway, <laughs> these are the kind of items I can pick up. Coins, bananas, distraction items, but nothing I can use as a weapon. Well, you know, I have used a banana as a weapon once or twice, but <laughs> let's pretend like we don't know anything about that. So what we're going to do is make our way down this corridor like a true tactical testicle, then hop our way onto the roof of this little shack and sneak our way over to our first target, who is right there playing Raid Shadow Legends, the mobile game taking the world by storm. Now, there is somewhere we could hide a dead body in there, but that's just not going to cut it. So let me bring him over here, give him a little bit of a neck massage and take it too far. Oh, okay, fine. I didn't take it too far. I, <laughs> I didn't take it far enough. That's a shame. But it's fine. Everything's fine. Let's just wait for this guy to finish his little coconut drink. Isn't he such a cutie pie? Then when he goes that way, I go this way, dragging my unconscious friend with me and just hope that I'm able to plop him over this ledge. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> Somehow that guy didn't hear. He's also playing Raid Shadow Legends. Go figure. Then I crack out my old banana and throw it over there, creating a little bit of a distraction for him to go and investigate. And as soon as he does, I go this way. Let's just hope I can move fast enough to drag this unconscious guy into the lavender bushes. And I made it in. Yeah, baby. We do have two guns here, but it seems like one's looking out to sea and the other's looking out to nothing. That should make this very, very easy. And just like that, plop body hidden, apparently. <laughs> so with that done, there's one target left to take care of all the way over there. And of course, we need to get out of here undetected because this is a trespassing location. Can you believe that we shouldn't be here? I know. Bizarre. Now we give this guy our brick and head on in. Unfortunately, it seems like the target is in the security room, which makes things a little bit tricky. Oh, all right. That's the target. I mean, I could just push him off here, but I feel like people might notice. Do you reckon they would? <laughs> I don't know. If I do it quick enough, maybe. No. I don't know. Do you reckon I can do it quick enough? I, I reckon I can. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Did anybody... What do you mean crime noticed? What do you mean? Nobody saw that. And then just like that, here I go sprinting my way back to my Mercedes Benz for a quick getaway. See you later, Argentina. It's been real. Real freaking stealth assassin. Ish. Impressive work you did back there. Not really, Diana. Not really. I was going for a little bit better than that. I'm going to have to step it up this time. And I'll do it on Ambrose Island. Each time you return to the safe house, I'll provide you with a free item. Thank you, Diana. But I can't use it. 
This is a zero loadout unarmed challenge. And here I go again, driving out to the middle of the ocean in my Mercedes Benz. That is actually a transformer. This is what it turns into. I know, impressive. Now, having a look around, we have one target over there and the other one is the chef all the way over there. Now, in order to pull this off, I'm going to need to get into these bushes and wait for the opportunity to strike. There's my target right there. If I can slip over here very quickly, okay. Now I'm in an even better position to get this done. A little distraction and... And there we go. Slight little massage gone too far. And he's down. Now, as soon as the coast is clear, I'm going to dash into these bushes and make my way back down the stairs. Dear, oh dear. The last remaining target, of course, has to be inside. What am I doing here? It looks like I'm having an aneurysm. Has to be inside of the pirate base. That's just great. Just going to have to climb up this vine, hop onto this bridge over here. Now, I'm still not trespassing, so everything's gravy. Then I just got to get to this guy. Now, there's a little ledge there. If I can somehow dingle down angle off the edge, I might be able to yank him down. Here we go, up on one ledge, then we hop up over here and up on the next ledge. Look at that, I'm basically Spider-Man. Now, I'm just gonna hop over here and dive into this, oh, I can't slip in there. Oh, hold on, yes I can. What are you doing, 47, you idiot? And, uh, I wonder if I can yank this guy through the window. Let me just wait for him to walk past. No, that's fine though. If I make a little bit of a distraction right there, this guy should come around the corner. Three, two, one, and stealth assassin. Neck massage gone too far. And we're going to leave him here in the bushes where he will remain for all of eternity, never to be discovered ever again. See you later, Ambrose Island. It's been real. Real freaking um, Ambrosey. Ah, Autobots roll out. Oh, look at that. I increased my gear cap for all the gear that I'm not taking with me on my missions. And I got a wardrobe. Lucky me. And now all that's left to do is the final leg of this leg of this freelancer leg. Oh, that's right. We got all this stuff. All right. Is this a hand for me? Eating, smoker, dehydrated, glasses, tattoo, hat, black hair. Okay, so that's basically everybody. Now again, this is going to be tricky dicky. We do have a whole bunch of potential suspects, though admittedly this is nothing like what we're used to. I think the last video we did on Hardcore, there was like 50 suspects and they all died. <laughs> I mean... Duh, obviously that's what happened. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and I'm gonna say it's this guy. It's definitely this guy. This, no, hold on. Is it this guy? Yeah, hat, glasses, black hair. Is he dehydrated? I would dig further if I were you. I don't need to, Diana. I'm convinced it's this guy. He's dehydrated, drinking water. He's dehydrated. Mate, you need to piss off, assassin. I've got, I've got an assassination to do. 100% is this guy though. It's definitely this guy. Where's his tattoo But You got a tattoo? Where is it? Show me. What if it's on his dick? How am I gonna know that? Oh, this is hard. This is very hard. I bet it's on his dick. So, there's the guy with the tattoo. Where are the other people? All right, there's one over there. Oh, hold on. It's definitely that guy. He's definitely got a tattoo on his dick. Oh, look at that. There's a there's a hand meeting. The, look, look, look. I knew it. Oh, that's definitely it. That's definitely it. All right, how are we gonna do this? Oh, no, another target. This is crazy. They're, they're all coming through here at the same time. Everybody's coming at the same time. This is it's wild. All right, wait for it. All right, here we go. There's black hair hat. Um, he doesn't have glasses though. It's not him. It's probably her. I'm gonna say it's her. And it's so, it's so her. It's so you, lady. It's so you. How am I gonna get this lady in here without anyone else sort of hearing? Alright, she's not coming close enough to yank her through the window. That's fine. Maybe she wants a crowbar. Jeez. You wanna check that out? Or you can ask this guy to do it. Hey, oh. don't know what that was. You mind taking a look? You check it out, you lazy lady. Time to figure out another plan. There is nothing sus about me walking out of this trespassing area. <laughs> With a crowbar in my hand. There she goes. I wonder if I could just, you know, get it done over here on the staircase. I reckon I could. Oh, no. I just punched her in the ass. And it, oh, crap. Wasn't me. I didn't do it. I didn't do it today. All right, so I have an idea. Bear with me. I'm going to wait for this guy, even though he's not the target, to come over here and have a drink of water. All right, hold on. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes around the corner. And, oh, he's got a mate here. Hopefully his mate doesn't notice me slipping over there. Off he goes straight over the edge. I didn't do it. I'm going to grab his telephone and I'm going to piss off out the door. Now I've got the hand meeting phone, which means that I can arrange a little bit of a Rendez Vows. And being the true tactical testicle that I am, I'm going to do it right here on this ledge. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Unfortunately, the stupid NPCs in this game are not as daring as me, so I'm going to have to do it somewhere a little more practical, I guess. I mean, she'd probably come out on the ledge for an Instagram photo. Oh, hold on, look at that. Well, that's me bloody target. What the hell? I've actually got a great idea now. Right, here we go. BJ Bonafone meeting right here. Let's see if people are stupid enough to head over here to, <laughs> to attend this meeting. You know, at this rate, if they all head in here, we might actually be able to take down the entire syndicate and then some. 
innocent people <laughs> in the process. Come on, champ. Right here over on the phone. You got to stand on the phone, bro. What are you doing? This ain't a gym, buddy. Sorry, mate. I thought it was a gym. I pressed the wrong flipping button. It's fine. A little bit of a snappy snappy. All right. See you later, suckers. I'm out of here. Your target is on to you and is trying to get away. Oh, that wasn't the target. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't the target. Alt F4, Alt F4. Is it you, mate? Have you got a tattoo? Can you just stop? Stop, mate. Do you? Stop. Oh, you do on your neck. It's you all along, you cheeky bastard. I knew it was you, mate. Just a matter of getting up here into position and then, you know, doing all the stuff. Actually, I've got a good idea. Get me old hand over phone. Just crack it out right here. Plop it down on the ledge and just jump over and wait. Boom. Look at that. Oh, there. Leader eliminated. Sucked in. <laughs> got him. Got him. That's so good. And I've got another boner phone. Perfect. And oh, what? What the hell? Why are people shooting at me? I didn't do nothing. This is wild, bro. So let's set up the burner phone right here on the ledge at the top near the helipad. And now we'll just wait and throw everyone off the, <laughs> off the edge of the building one by one. It's going to be great. Come on, a little bit closer. You got to get out on the edge. You got to be in it to win it, mate. Nope. That's stupid. All right, you know, I'm going to hide behind this box and I'm just going to push him straight off the edge. Go and look at the phone. Right, here we go. Ready? And boom. All right, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, that's perfect. All right, anyway, um, oh, get out of it. I didn't do anything, you psychos. You know, I think this might be it. Let's crack it out. Let's just do it here so it doesn't fall off the bloody ledge this time. I'm a bit, a bit scared about where to plop it. Let's just plop it here. Oh, that's perfection. All right, here we go. Now, if this guy doesn't walk to the edge, I'm going to lose it. Come on, mate, a little bit further. Come and check out the actual phone thingy. Don't give up. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, 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 bruh. And he's down. Look at that. Boom. Dead man on the bottom of the building. Don't walk over here. Yeah, you go back inside. That's a good idea. Oh, you too. All right, well, sorry, mate, but you get it as well. There we go. He's down. That's amazing. And just like that, we're done. Completely done. It, actually, no, we're not done. We're not done until all of them are dead. So let's just pick up these other burner phones right here, and we'll just set up all the meetings in the world right here on the ledge. It's going to be great. Look at that. All the meetings right here, mate. This is, <laughs> this is where it's at. Come on, just a little bit further. And there we go. Every single... Oh. <laughs> oh no oh dear the adams family da -da 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 -da. well you know <laughs> i feel like my job here is probably done actually hold on let me just set up one more meeting there we go beautiful all right nothing sus happened here today that's not creepy at all and first leg of the freelancer thing da exit mission are you sure you want to exit before come hold on didn't i come what hold on didn't i come what's the objective i thought i completed it everyone's dead oh no they're not someone's still alive you i'll get out of it please stop <laughs> stop oh <laughs> she's still alive oh no well, this is absolute ass. I don't know what to do about this. Um, I guess we could pick up all of these bombs, but oh, I don't know. Hold on, snap neck. Is this guy? They're all still alive. Oh, it's not her. What am I even tripping on? This is the guy. Somehow all of them survived that fall. Very resilient, these chaps. Well, let's do something about that. Let's see if they survive this fall. How's, how's he going? Is he going to survive that one? I think he might. Uh, he looks, he's looking pretty... Oh, no, no, he didn't make it. That's a shame. What about this guy? Come on, Mr. Target. You're going to make it? You seem like you're probably going to make it. You look like a tough fella. There we go. And, oh, did we, did we win? <laughs> I can't believe that's what it took. What a joke. Well, you consider yourself lucky, okay? You're the survivor and the star of a new Japanese horror movie. See you later, helicopter pilot. It's been real. Real freaking fantabulous. And just like that, first leg done. And done without any items whatsoever. Very, very tactically testicle. And for all my hard work, a special item that I am forbidden from using. Look at that. A Psy Ega 300. It'll look good on my wall. Let's just stuff it on over here. Look at that. This is what it looks like up close and personal. Psy Ega 300. Pew, 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 pew. Great, great gun. Thanks for watching. Bye.